Okay, this video is exactly what it sounds like. Let's get right into it. American Ultra. Is it the best movie in the world? No, but it is a lot of fun. I don't care for the main actor pretty much ever. But in this one, he actually does a pretty good job. It is a little bit over the top. You know, and honestly, to me, it is pretty beginner-friendly. Um, Badass, starring Danny Trejo. Any movie in that Badass series. Yes, I believe there's three of them. Yeah, three of them. Him and Danny Glover. Actually, better than what I thought it was going to be. More fun than what I thought it was going to be. And pretty much just a straightforward action movie. So, if you're into that kind of thing, definitely. Bushwick. Which is a non-stop action movie, pretty much. I mean, it's there's some lulls, but not long. And there's still tension behind them, but... It's a long action movie, and by long, I don't mean like it should be cut down or shorn or whatever. I'm just saying, a lot of action throughout this whole thing. Buy Bust is kind of the same thing. Um, I'll put the Raid in here as well because the Raid and Buy Bust to me are similar. They're both ones where <coughs> groups of officers go to this area. And the raid, they're trying to get up to the top of the tower to get this person and everything else. They have to fight their way all the way through it. <coughs> Buy Bust is about a drug deal gone wrong. With the cops trying to bust it, you know, and all that. And, you know, they're stuck in this area and they have to fight their way out. Not Another pretty much non-stop action movie. FDR American Badass. Now, this one's not to be taken seriously at all. If you have a good sense of humor, this should be just fine for you. Um, it's over the top, that's for sure. There's werewolves in it, including a werewolf Hitler. Um, yeah, movie's just crazy. How Comes to Frogtown, which is a <clears throat> action movie to an extent. I guess you could call it sci-fi too, post-apocalyptic for sure. And stars Roddy Piper, the same guy from They Live. So, at times it feels a little bit sleazy, but it not, might not be as sleazy as what you think. And Frogtown is a real place in this movie, and it's humanoid frogs. Actually, really good effects work on that. John Wick, which... It's pretty much straightforward old school action movie done right. Um, I've seen the first three. Yeah, this series for people that are new to action movies, definitely. They are worth checking out. Kill Bill, Volume 2 especially. Volume 1, I would say is good. It does have a few different elements, just like the second one. The second one could kind of be an introduction to action, revenge, and kung fu, to be completely honest with you, but... Yeah, it's actually pretty good for what it is. It's not going to be the best thing in the world. It is over the top, too. So there you go. Mars Attacks, which is personally comedy, sci-fi, whatever you want to call it. It has some actors I really don't care for, but it has some actors that just kill it on this. It's really funny. It's well done. It's a little bit campy, but it's just meant to be fun. It has my favorite actress of all time, Pam Greer. It has Jim Brown in it, too. Jim Brown's badass. Like, yeah, they did this movie right. Okay, so, RoboCop, which is ultra-violent. I'm not going to lie. It is over the top. And it is kind of dark at points. It is a comedy as well, even though not everyone sees it as that. But there you go. Yeah, I definitely suggest this one if you are new to action movies. Big time. Okay. The Running Man, which is a Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, but it's a good one. It's 80s, I think, but it deals with a game show where people have to basically fight their way through to try to survive, and that's how they win. Actually, a lot of fun. And then Tremors, which deals with, cute, <laughs> with giant sandworms. It's actually funny. It's well done. It's a good action movie. Some people would say horror movie due to the sandworms. I don't personally. I think of it more as action. But yeah, really, really good for what it is. I could add Starship Troopers to this list as well. 
and may as well, right? There you go.